Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today is mail call, mail call. Um, <clears throat> a couple of cables from Amazon and then a bunch of uh, cheap stuff from China, from AliExpress. Uh, I'm not sure if everything arrived, I think there's eight things turned up out of ten things that I ordered, so there's probably something that's delayed in transit, or maybe I haven't counted right, I'm not sure. Anyway, it shouldn't take us too long to get through this stuff, so let's pop over to the bench and see what we got. Here we are on the bench. So I thought we might as well start with these cables from uh, from Amazon. There's Amazon, good old Amazon logo, everyone knows that one. Okay, yeah. I have to send Amazon the bill for the product placement for this video. So, here are my USB cables, all from Ugreen. Uh, I kind of like the look of the Ugreen brand. It seemed to be pretty popular there on Amazon. So I don't know if the specs are on these or what. <laughs> this is a 10 foot cable, USB micro. This is three meter cable, USB-C. Uh, and this is USB mini. How big? Uh, six feet. And then USB-C, three meters. So is that two USB-Cs? Yep, two three meter USB-Cs, one six foot USB mini, and one 10 foot USB micro. Now I got this one for the, um, for the, the project, the mini project that we'll be doing. We're going to be doing a debugging session. It's probably going to be a live stream. I haven't done a live stream before, but my friend commenting on the YouTube video said I should do a live stream uh, so that we can debug the JCAR mini project together. So we're going to do that. It's going to be in the next couple of weeks. I'll announce it when I figure out how to do line, live stream announcements. So that'll be the first one. See how we go. If you uh, subscribe to the channel and you get a note about it, you're more than welcome to join. Um, not sure yet when it will be, but maybe within the next one to three weeks, say, maybe. Anyway, there we go. There's the uh, USB cables from Amazon. Very happy about those. Um, uh, the USB-C ones are actually so I can set up my new cameras because I'm planning to start a new feature of this show um, called Maths Homework. I'm planning to do some Maths Homework on the channel. Um, it's going to be pretty simple to start with. It might end up getting pretty sophisticated in the end. We'll see. Now these look pretty cool, don't they? Pretty cool indeed. So locking pliers for bending and securing various materials. Three pieces, one pair long nose pliers, uh, one pair C-type pliers, one pair curved pliers. Here we go, look at that. Characteristics, the jaws are integrally forged <laughs> uh, with steel and have good toughness. Steel handle, no deformation of clamping objects, screw type adjustment, no freezy size adjustment, zigzag saws, strong clamping. All right. Let's see. Let's let's see. All right. Oh, one of them got stuck. There we go. All right. So, what about press that? Yeah. Ripper, look at that. That's great. Huh. Ah. Yeah, cool. Let's find something to grip. How about one of these? I'll put that in there. Oh no. Haven't been able to figure that out. We'll put that in there. And then how do we, oh, you have to give it a really good clip. So it only clips if, you, if you've got it squeezed all the way down. There you go, so now we know. Ripper. So those, there's those ones. And then what about these ones? Ah. And try squeezing him together. All right, they, they won't lock unless they come all the way in. Yes, but it, it does taper down. So you, if you want it uh, at a particular point, you just put it at the right point. That's too close. 
that worked pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, that's a ripper. All right. And what are these ones? Oh, I see. These are probably the best of all with regard to uh, uh, the size of the of the thing. So uh, for these ones, I'll probably just put it right at the top there. Yeah, there we go. Nice and secure. Oh, here we go. Look, there's the um, the screw. Ah, that's good to know. So we can actually adjust the. Uh, yeah, oh, that's great. Check that out. Ah, I thought it was just one size uh, only, but that's not the case. It can actually. Yeah, right. That's great. Yeah, you can actually just adjust it. Look at that. The jaw opens. I wonder how far we can go. I think eventually this thing's just going to fall out, isn't it? Um, I'm. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we screw that up, and it uh, brings it all the way in. That's excellent. Wow, cool. I'm very happy with this tool. Look at that. That's great. So I assume that it'll work for these ones as well. Let's pop that out. Ah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. Very cool. I like. So I suppose it's the same for these as well. Pop him out. Loosen him up a bit. Yep, look at that. Perfect. Anyway, I don't want to spend the whole video playing with these tools, but uh, I suspect these are going to go down as my favorite tools from this package. Wow, I'm real pleased with these. Very cool. Very happy. All right. So what do we got next? <sighs> Sticking with the clamp theme. Check this out. <sighs> it's always hard to tell the, the size of the equipment that you're ordering. Uh, when you do it from a photo on the thing but this uh, is a clamp and it uh, you can use that part of it to go under your uh, bench see if I can find somewhere that you can see can you see that you can just all right so we'll put that in there and then we can clamp him to the bench and then we can open this part up. Do you see? I think you can see that, can't you? So I can just send that that back and give it a fairly wide berth. And I could probably put something in there to be clamped. How about this uh, abrasive rubber? It's not abrasive. There we go. So yeah, little bench vice. That's great. Very cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, <clears throat> this vise will live under my uh, bench with my other vices and such. Put that down there now. All right, then on we go. So what have we got here? Pull that open. Can we get in there? What are we at? Ah, scales. Yes. All right. And I wonder if they're any good. I, I have, um, just says pocket scales. It's uh, capacity. Uh, oh, it looks like it comes in various capacities. Weighing units, power, batteries, 2 AA, AAA. All right. Auto calibration. Let's um, grab our weights. These are my weights, uh, and we're probably going to need some batteries as well. Should I spend more time looking at the documentation with you? Maybe I should. Let's go through that properly together. So uh, this is a CX series pocket scale, two AAA batteries, auto off, LCD display. It's got a jewelry as its example. Um, it's called a pocket scale, pocket scale. <coughs> Has it got a tick mark? Yes, it has. This is the 500 grams by uh, 0 0.01 grams. Cool. And
and uh, on the back pocket scale capacity we've got the 500 gram capacity weighing units can do grams ounces uh, GNCTs TLs D I don't know any of those things power is as I said already three times it's two AAA batteries uh, scale size is 100 by 61 by 23 millimeters it says auto calibration uh, tear range full capacity tears where you put something on it uh, before you turn it on and it auto zeros uh, auto off default after 180 seconds cool so I assume we're gonna need some uh, batteries we do that's no problem let's get the batteries out Here is the batteries box. And we're going to take two, two batteries. Let's take one, two. And we'll pop them in. Pretty good for me. All right, now it's got some sort of a case cover, so you can just uh, put that there, take it off. Shall we have a look? It's it's, a, it's a, actually not bad, not bad. They've put the instructions and everything in here. Maintenance and care. One, avoid exposure to extreme heat or cold. Also avoid any kind of moisture. Always allow your scale to acclim acclimate to normal room temperature before use. Keep your scale in a clean, dry environment. <clears throat> May have an adverse effect on the accuracy and reliability of the scale. Handle the scale with care. Gently apply all items to be weighed on the tray top. Although this scale is designed to be quite durable, avoid rough treatment as this may permanently damage the internal parts. Always avoid shaking and dropping. This is a precision instrument and should be handled with extreme care. Um, then it's got the specifications which we saw in the back of the box. And then there's operation instructions. 1. Place the scale on a leveled surface and press the power key to turn on the scale or press and hold the key to power it off. Wait until the LCD displays show zero, then press the key MP to choose the weighing unit. Three, place the item to be weighed on the platform and wait until the reading is stable. Tear function. <coughs> Turn on the scale as described above. Two, place the tear item on the platform, press the power key and wait until the LCD displays zero. Scale can now be used for weighing. Add the net weight item and read. Counting function. 1. Place the scale on the levered surface and power it on. 2. Sampling. Prepare a sample quantity of the item you want to count. Press and hold the MP key and then press the M key four times to enter the counting function. Press the power key to switch the above figures to match the quantity of the items. Ah, cool. Put the item on the platform and then press MP again to display and display will show number of pieces. Three, put the items you want to count on the platform and display will show the quantity of these items. All right, cool. Now that says uh, uh, 20 grams. So how do we zero it? Do you reckon we can zero it? All right, right, grams, it says 20. There we go. Turn it on. Zero. Excellent. Now, we've got some weights. They're in here. So let's let's see how good this thing is. So uh, shall we start with the big one or the little one? Look, the little one's tiny. Let's start with this one. This is... Uh, it says 20 grams, I think. 20 grams. Look at that, very close. 20.06 grams. All right. This one, 10 grams. 
Oh, look at that. Exactly right. 10 grams. This is probably, what, 5 grams? Yep, looks like 5 to me. 5 grams, even. Very happy with that. This is a very precise instrument, isn't it? 2 grams. Exactly right. Wow. And what about this one? 1 gram. Ah, oh, that's excellent. I'm going to weigh the big one again and see if we get it, the rounding error still. Nope, it's exactly right. No rounding error. 20 grams. How cool is that? Wow. You know, I paid like $3 for this scale. And it's, it's excellent. Perfectly calibrated. Excellent. It can do up to 500 grams. Um, so I, I only wanted it for precision stuff. I've got another uh, one that can do a couple of kilos over on the on the other bench. So yeah, that's great. So happy about that. Because you get the cheap stuff and you don't know if it's going to be reliable or accurate or whatever. And when it is, it just makes you happy, doesn't it? Wow, that's cool. I thought these were going to be my favorite. But those scales, those are pretty excellent. Oh, wow, look at this guy. It's a pretty serious looking bit of kit. <laughs> I, uh, I already have like heaps of wire cutters. Um, and that's what this is. It's a, it's a stripper, pliers, like it's, I've got everything on here except for this and this. This, you can feed in a wire and it'll, it'll cut it in half so you can just pull it through. Uh, and this one is for twisting them together or twisting them apart. Um, which is why I got it. I got it for this and this because um, I thought I thought that would be handy to have. It's got other things. You can use it as a, a spanner over here with those bits. Um, it's got some sort of a knife, you know, uh, thing kind of there for cutting cables and stuff. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, it's got various gauges of uh, insulation stripper. It's got needle nose pliers. So it's a multi-tool. Um, but I got it for these little doodads down here. I'll just keep it in my drawer. Looks pretty good to me. It's got some sort of a spring function. That's pretty cool. It's got a little lock. So it's a nice bit of kit. Oh, and speaking of nice bit of kit, I got one of these. I never even heard of these before. They're called Tiger Wrench. It's a Tiger Wrench. It's a monster. Look at that. So, uh, this thing is uh, basically just for uh, like hex bits. It's a spanner, basically. It's a spanner, um, but they but they also call a spanner a wrench, don't they? And they call this a tiger wrench. So you can you can flip it around um, to pick your size, and that's it. Goes down to whatever that is. That's uh, uh yep. It's labelled uh, five uh, sixteenths five sixteenths of an inch and then uh, okay so it's all uh, it's all um, imperial on this end and oh no 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 okay uh, it's got both okay eight mil or five sixteenths of an inch great so the uh, the 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 um, the measures are in metric and imperial Wow, I have to say today's loot's pretty impressive. I, I like this bit of equipment. That's great. Tiger wrench. Never owned a tiger wrench before. Now I got this because <coughs> why not? It's a um, it's a drill bit extender. So it just goes in your rotary tool. Um, for me, for instance, um, I've got this one, which is my Bosch. So you can just put that bit in there. And then it's uh, it can can work at at, at great di distance. So I thought that was pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Yeah. All right. And what else have we got? Nearly at the end here. Just two more things to go. So what have we got here? Uh, as if I needed more pliers. Why did I buy these? I'm not sure why I bought those. Anyway, got them now. They're uh, pretty serious pliers, aren't they? They're 
Well, I'm pretty happy with that. If you find if I need some big pliers, these are them. I've got heaps of uh, smaller pliers like these guys, but this thing with that bit in there, yeah, fair enough. And uh, it's got a um, it's got a wire stripper in there as well. I wonder does it have a it's got some sort of a crimper or something? Is that a crimper in there? I'm not sure what that does. It's got a wire cutter, that's handy. Yeah. This is not a bad little multi-tool itself, is it? Not bad at all. <laughs> and then last we have this. Ah uh, yes. Now this is a is a um it's a it's a it's a gauge feeler. I think they call it a feeler. Um, you can use it to figure out the gauge of things. Um, oop, it's got more packaging. Hmm. I've never used a tool like this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Nope, no idea what I'm doing. So, okay. So these things have different, uh, different sizes. I was expecting this to be some sort of a gauge tool that you could like stick in uh, that you could use to measure the gauge of something like wire maybe uh, I don't know I really don't know what I'm dealing with here <clears throat> I thought that when I looked at it and and read about it I thought that you'd sort of flip those around and, and there'd be like a thing there and you could use this part and measure the size of like a bit of wire. That's what I thought it would, it would be. But honestly, I don't know what it is. Look at all these. It's got all of these teeth on it. Fascinating. Anyway, look, I won't stand here blabbing at you. Um, I'll investigate what this thing is. Uh, I might as well do that now. I'll do that now and I'll be back in a second. I'll tell you what I found out. Alright, I'm back. So uh, I figured out what's going on. Uh, I did order a feeler gauge. This is not it. This is not a feeler gauge. This is a separate tool um, and it's for measuring uh, the thread of a screw. So uh, I've got a, a box full of screws. Um, so let's uh, let's have a look, see what we can figure out. So why don't we start with I don't know. What about this? So we got a screw there. Looks like a pretty big screw. So I'm not sure how you uh, how do you use this tool? I don't know. Do you try and Look at that. That's pretty much perfect straight off the bat. I wonder if it gets any better. Are these marked? They're marked on this side. So it says uh, 18 gauge. Okay. That's pretty good. I wonder if I can do better. So if I go from 18, there's uh, 16 gauge. Oop. Let's try that. Yeah, that doesn't work at all, does it? So 18 gauge is actually just dead set correct. Isn't it? That's amazing. All right, let's try some other things. So that was pretty big, 18 gauge. Let's try something smaller. 
What have we got? Everything seems to be actually quite large. What about this? That's enormous actually. So that that's uh it's gonna need to go on the other side. There's also some in the middle here, I don't understand those. Ah. So I'm not sure about the best way to use this tool. Uh, that's 18 gauge again. It's uh, it's too uh, too small. What about this one, which is uh, 19 gauge? Still not quite right. Let's try 14 gauge. Is that getting smaller? I think it is. Oh, that was not 19. That was 16. Yeah, okay, so let's go over to the other side. <clears throat> oh no, that gets smaller there. That's all small. Here's here's where it gets large. All right. <clears throat> I won't uh, I won't do any more of these with you now, um, but you get the idea. So you can you can obviously measure the uh, the size of a, of the thread um, using this tool. I guess it's a little bit of hit and miss, um, and you just have to go through one after the other. I'll see if I can find some YouTube videos or something explaining how to use this particular piece of equipment. But that's a cool little gauge to have in my drawer of gauges. So yeah, excellent. Anyway, that, uh, that concludes our uh, mail call. I'll throw you over to the farewell cam and we'll wrap this up. So that's that. It's a wrap. Uh, I have to say, this, uh, this particular mail call had some pretty serious uh, bits and pieces, didn't it? Uh, I mean, I was pretty impressed by these tools. So I've got... Uh, I got my three locking pliers, and they're great. I got my wire crap, uh, crap, uh, cutter multi-tool. That's pretty great. I've got a good, thick, thick, chunky set of pliers with wire cutters and strippers and all sorts of things. That's pretty great. My tiger wrench is cool. I've got a bunch of USB cables that I'll be able to use to plug in the new maths camera. So I'll get that all plugged in and, and tested soon. Um, and then, of course, the, the um, favorite thing is this beautiful little uh, electronic scale. It's, uh, it's amazing because uh, it was perfect. I, I used my, uh, my, uh, my weights and it got a perfect score right down to point or, or one one hundredth of a gram. So uh, yeah, I think the scales were my favorite. These locking pliers are close second. Very happy with the uh, Tiger Wrench and the two uh, other pairs of pliers. Um, the drill extender, of course, good to have. So what was what was what was my least favourite thing? Hard to say. I, I suppose I'd have to say that the um, the 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 screw gauge thing is probably my least favourite. But that's not being very kind to this little guy because that's a pretty cool tool to have as well. Um, a few things didn't arrive. The feeler gauge that I mentioned is not here yet. So I think there's probably a few drips and drabs that are still going to roll in. Um, and I'll pick them up with you in another mail call video uh, in the future. But uh, that concludes today's uh, video. Um, there'll be more stuff coming out soon. I've got uh, Maxitronics projects to do. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live stream about the uh, signal keyboard, uh, symbol keyboard from uh, JCAR, the JCAR Mini project. Um, that's uh, on the suggestion of my friend, the secret engineer, who's been talking to me on YouTube. And uh, yeah, so uh, uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. And please remember to hit like and subscribe.